This is Bridget Ramsey, your Awana commander. Today's lesson is about David obeys. This lesson is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 11 through 13. How many of you have heard of the town of Bethlehem? Who was born there? Yes, Jesus was born there. But there is someone else you may know who lived there as a young boy. Does anyone know? Did you think about it? If you said King David, you are correct. David grew up in Bethlehem with his family. A lot of you probably go to school during the day. Well, for David, he didn't do that. David had to take care of their sheep. He spent most of his time in the fields watching over his father's sheep. Have you ever wondered how David was chosen to be a king or how he got to the palace since he was someone who watched over sheep? Well, let's talk about his story. It's not like a fairy tale story that isn't true. This is true because it comes straight from the Bible. When David was still young, maybe an early teenager, he was chosen to be king. God told the prophet Samuel to pick David to be the next king. The Bible says that Samuel went to Jesse, who was David's father, and told him that one of his sons was to be the next king. Jesse brought all of his sons to Samuel, except for David. David was working in the fields, keeping watch over the sheep. Samuel looked at each son, but the Lord told him that he still had seen the right one. Now, let's take out our Bibles or our devices, and let's read 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 11 through 13. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, Thou remainest yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down until he come hither. And he went and brought in now he was ruddy and withal of beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from the day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Okay, now that's how David was chosen to be the next king. The Lord told Samuel to anoint David with oil. God didn't want the most handsome, handsome, strongest, and coolest son of Jesse, although there is nothing wrong with being handsome, strong, and cool, but God was looking for the son who would follow and obey him. You see, the king at the time, Saul, disobeyed God. God told him to destroy the city where the Amulites live. He was supposed to destroy everything, but Saul let the king of the Amulites live. He took some of the sheep and cattle. He didn't obey God, so God told Samuel to choose David because David would follow and obey. Sometime after this, King Saul was very distressed. Do you know what that word means or have you ever heard it? Distress means trouble. One of Saul's servants told him about David. He said that David played the harp 
and was strong and brave. So Saul sent a message to Jesse, David's father, and told Jesse to have David come to him. So Jesse sent David to Saul. David played the heart for Saul. Whenever he felt distress, David mus David's music helped Saul to feel better. At this point, Saul didn't know that David was going to be the next king. Now, here's something important I want you to remember about David. David obeyed his father, Jesse. When King Saul sent for David, David did as he was told. The Bible doesn't tell us whether or not David was scared or he hesitated, but he might have been nervous about leaving his family and flocks of sheep. But David still obeyed. If David had disobeyed his father and the king, it would have meant big trouble for them all. Now, let's think about ourselves for a moment. We've all disobeyed our parents at one time or another. Maybe your mom asked you to clean up your room or pick up your backpack and you didn't do it. Maybe your dad told you to stop bothering your brother, but you kept bothering him anyway. It's important to obey your parents. They know what's best for us. Sending David to King Saul was probably hard for his father, Jesse, but Jesse knew it was the best thing for David to do since he was eventually going to be king. Now, what I want you to remember from this story is to remember is that it is important to listen to your parents and obey them just like David obeyed his father. We need to listen to and obey our parents because not only does it honor them, it honors God. <laughs>